Okay, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to access your voicemail and the call monitoring and history display panel of Buzzbox. So you can basically log in through your web browser and access your voicemail, call recordings and see who exactly it was that rung you and who you rang. So go into to your web browser and in the address bar type in the address of your Buzzbox machine. That will be provided to you by your system administrator most probably, so ask him for that. Okay, so we've gone to the dashboard now and you can see we've presented with a few icons here. The one that we're interested in is the second one, which is the access your telephone extension voicemail. So I'm going to click on that and then we're asked to log in. So the login name is the extension number of your telephone. That's probably written in the top left hand corner of your telephone screen. And then the password is whatever your voicemail password is. So in my case, it's just one, two, three. And then we're going to click on submit. Okay, so we're logged in. The first thing that we're presented with here is the voicemail list of all the voicemails that we've had come in through the system. So we can see the caller ID here, caller ID here was the uh, number of the person that just rang to leave a voicemail. The duration clearly is the duration of the message. And we can play back the message by clicking on the play button. Or we can download the message by clicking on that icon and that will download as a WAV file that you can play on your PC or Mac and you can email that to whoever you wish. And likewise you can delete the message when you're done so you click on the um, checkbox here, click the delete icon and if you would rather move it to a folder and keep hold of it you can put it in a folder here, create your own. So you can put it in the friends folder for example and move it to that folder. The other option here on the left hand side is call monitor, this is really useful you can actually see who it was that's been calling you and basically the duration of the phone call and likewise you can see um, who you've been calling so on and so forth. If you've recorded a phone conversation you can click on the speaker icon again to play the message uh, to play the recording or you can click on the download icon again that will download as a WAV file as you can see and uh, here sorry you can basically hear what people have been saying and you can email that to your colleagues accordingly Okay, feature codes. This is the next option on the list. These are just a list of codes that you can use on your telephone that access certain functions. A useful one here, for example, is star 32. So you dial star 32 on your phone to blacklist the last caller. So the person that just called you, i.e. a sales guy or a, a nuisance caller, you can dial star 32 and that will block them from calling you again. And just if we scroll down, some of these may or may not apply to you, but at the bottom here we have star 97, that's the most common one, which is accessing your voicemail. So you can dial that to access your voicemail uh, and uh, basically listen to your voicemail through your telephone handset rather than through here. Okay, we've got the follow me option. This isn't currently enabled for my mailbox, but basically if that is enabled, you can do that for hot calling, um, hot desking. So you can basically move around the office and type in an extension number that the phone will be diverted to or a mobile number if you're out of the office. Phone features. The section here that we're most interested in is call forwarding. Unconditional will basically send every single phone call to the number that you type in here. This can be another extension or say for example a mobile number and every phone call will be sent to that number. Likewise if you're unavailable use that option or if you're busy on the phone you can type in the number there and all the calls will be diverted to your mobile number when you're busy. Okay then finally we've got settings that is basically settings for the phone things like your voicemail password so you can change that here just type in numbers there no no letters or anything like that. Notification settings this is quite useful if you want your voicemail message to be emailed to you so you just type in your email address there click on enable and you'll be emailed with every voicemail message that comes into your system so if you're on the move that's quite useful and the voicemail is attached as a WAV file so you can listen to it from your from your smartphone or from your PC or Mac uh, and that just about covers it so if I click on log out that will log us out close that tab down and we're back to the main menu so for a better hands-on view of your voicemail messages and your call history then go ahead and use the uh, BuzzBox dashboard for your telephone voicemail.